school projects and stuff, usually these kind of tours are arranged through our environmental programs. Um, you know, I, I don't mind giving you a quick, you know, look around here. Yes, but, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so he was asking about the pros, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So pros, uh, well, plastic's a very, uh, yeah. it's a, a very available, uh, you know, material. It's uh, cheap to produce, right? But obviously the cons are that, uh, well, if it doesn't get recycled or disposed of in the proper way and it ends up in the environment, well, now uh, it affects the wildlife uh, pretty badly now, right? And same with the ocean system. Um, yeah, we're having problems right now with the microplastics uh, in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, fish. Uh, fish, yeah, lots of, lots of different animals, right? You know, whales and stuff like that, sharks, you know, if they see the plastic floating around, they might mistake it for a jellyfish or something and eat it. And then, uh, yeah, it, it could uh, cause some big problems for them, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And we're also yeah. drinking um, uh, microplastics because in bottled water, we, there's microplastics in yeah, it. There very well could be, right? Yeah, they use uh, plastic, uh, little plastic beads in some uh, some products. Uh, same with, uh, you know, like your clothes, right? If it's made out of fleece, the little, little bitty hairs, right? They can break off your fleece and, you know, those will end up in the water system. They may not get filtered properly, right? Yeah, and it's also in beer. And beer. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, a, that's unacceptable. What are you guys going to do about that, huh? Uh, what are you going to do about that? I don't know. Yeah? Ban beer. <laughs> Ben Beer? Oh, okay. to go to the government. Alright, listen, listen, listen here. Listen here, my friend. Uh, you have to take them away from me. <laughs> yeah, yeah Ben Beer. Yeah, Ben No, you're the responsible consumer. You can have those. Oh, where did you get that? Uh, this is a little bit. See, green can? Okay, later I'll get it. Yeah. Because okay. yours is a pros and cons of plastic. Yours was my dear. Responsible consumer. Hmm. Wow, this can go a lot of different directions, hey? Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, as a responsible consumer, you want to think about uh, before you buy something. Is it something that you really need, right? Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to add more to the landfill and the recycling system if you don't have to, right? And if you're gonna, if you absolutely have to buy it, then you should think about well, how long is it gonna last? Right, and once you're done with it, how can you dispose of it properly, responsibly? Right, is it recyclable? Right, um, you don't want to just chuck it in the garbage if you can help it, you want it to be remade into something else, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like in terms of um, what you do here, like you recycle the products, like some of these products can they be used into something else? Like I see the refrigerators, like people take parts off of them. At this point, we don't allow that. Oh, yeah, no, we, right now we have a hard uh, no scavenging rule. Okay. Right, it's, this is mainly to discourage people coming here looking for parts, right, and yeah. you know just picking things and helping themselves. Uh, but you know, off the record, I have heard that you know there are you know some um, there are some ideas being floated as to you know whether they can start a program to you know reuse items that are brought here, right? Mm -hmm. But that's you know going to be a little ways down the road. That connects yeah. a bit into my question. Oh, is that right? Okay. What's your question? Uh, is how can people be responsible consumers with their daily products? How can people be responsible consumers with? Daily products, like the things that we buy daily, like groceries and stuff like that. How can we re be responsible consumers with that? Like other tips that can maybe help our environment or us and you know, our community? Mm -hmm. Well, again, it kind of ties into uh, her question as well is, you know, don't buy more than you need, right? And then... Uh, and with what you're left over with, yeah. right? Just make sure you reuse, try to reuse, recycle. yeah, reuse and recycle as much as you can, right? Yeah. So the main thing is we want to keep our garbage and our waste out of the environment as much as possible, right? Some things, you know, like if you're doing yard work and you end up with a bunch of dirt or grass or something like that, that can go in the landfill. That's no problem. It's earth going back to earth, right? But uh, things like plastic, it's not designed to go into the water system or, you know, into the dirt. So if you can recycle that, that's just that much better. Yeah. Question for you. Yes. Like with some of these products, where do they end up? Oh, we have we have various pickups and uh, and you know um, raw materials processors. Uh, it's for a list like that, then I'm gonna I, I would have to refer you to the environmental program people, and okay. uh, they they would have all the contact information there. We might have to do that. I'll, I'll get their information. Maybe next Sunday or next.
next time we go for a trip, we can we just can get it. Maybe you guys can call one of them. Do you have a phone number for all of them? Yeah, there's a business card over here. Okay. You can call okay. them on the weekday. Because that's exactly what we need to know. Where